going on you guys? Kibby on a camera here and I'm home in my house again. Thank God. I didn't want to stay another minute in that hospital. Mm -hmm. I got my surgery. I don't know if I can show open wounds on YouTube. I can show you the Ow. And we gotta keep her from jumping on me, huh, baby? Oh, don't bend down. Okay, don't bend down. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna go down, lay down in a minute. Not really. Yeah, you are. I'm actually not. You but, are. But I wanted to tell a story real quick about yesterday, where before, right before the surgery, I told you I was gonna tell you this. Right before the surgery, I'm laying in bed, and this church guy comes in. He was like, he just comes in, and I didn't know who he was at first. He had like a spiky haircut and stuff, and he was like, uh, well, how are you feeling today, son? And I'm just, oh, I'm feeling okay. Uh, are you getting ready for surgery right here? Yes, sir, I am. I thought at this point he's like some financial advisor because I don't have insurance, so I'm going to be paying for this shit out of pocket now. And... The guy starts talking, he goes, well, do you got Jesus Christ in your life? Do you believe in Jesus? And so I just go, no, sir. And that was the wrong thing to say. I should have just said yes, prayed with him, and moved on. Because telling him I didn't believe was the worst thing I could have done. He stayed there for about 15 minutes telling me stories about how he met somebody who Jesus walked into their front living room. and I thought he was friendly. I'm not saying he wasn't friendly. He was a nice guy. You know, it was nice of him to come visit me. But I don't give a shit. Aww. You know, I, I'm about to go into surgery. I want to talk to my family. I want to talk to my family, not you, buddy, you know? I'm not your family. I'm your wife to the hospital. Oh, she's wearing the copied shirt again. Mm-hmm. So, this shit goes on for 15 minutes. Well, uh... I think if you try and let Jesus, and I said, sir, I'm not an atheist, and I'm not an atheist. I'm, I'm an agnostic. I like, to, I like to try and figure things out. I don't know. I don't know the answer, and I'm not going to pretend to. I'm not totally closed-minded. I'll hear sides out. I'll listen. But I don't know. <clears throat> this hurts. They gave you Percocet. And so I'm just listening to this guy, and... He's, he starts telling me this story about this woman. She was sitting on the couch, and she was sitting there, and Jesus walked into her living room, and I could tell when she told me that she was telling the truth. Why? This is somebody telling you a story. I could tell you that I was laying in my hospital bed, and Jesus himself came in and gave me a piece of fish. I said I didn't like seafood very much, and so he turned it into chicken. And would you believe me just because I'm telling it to you? You can't take people for the word. Anyway, I, I humored the guy. Yes, sir. Oh, that's very interesting because I'm not a piece of shit. And, and I was genuinely interested and appreciative that the guy was talking to me to begin with. You know, it is cool that the guy would take time out of his schedule to come talk to me. It's cool. And then I tell him about dad's little, like, when dad died. And so now he turns his attention to dad. And he starts talking and he goes, well, tell me, tell me about, uh, tell me about what you saw. And the first thing Dad says is, "Only thing I remember seeing is big bright ass light." And the guy looks, so you saw a big bright light? No, Dad said big bright ass light, and he looked totally uncomfortable to be there at that point. So he wrapped it up after a few minutes of talking to angry Grandpa. So Dad, thank you for running that guy out of there. But the only thing that I was thinking while I'm sitting here before surgery and this church guy comes is. Wait a minute, is this a dangerous procedure? Am I about to fucking die? Why is the preacher here? Am I getting my last rites? So I got my surgery. I'm fine. I got Percocets, so I don't feel nothing. I'm, I'm good right now. And that's it. I'm going to bed. I just had me some Taco Bell. Got some of those taco, I was about to say Taco Bell tacos. I got some of those Dorito tacos. I got a Chalupa, and I only ate one of each, and I'm ready to go to bed. I guess I wasn't going to eat as much as I thought. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. 
at least for a few hours. UFC comes on tonight, uh, 152, so I'm going to watch that. But Again, thank you all for the thoughts and shit you've given me. I do appreciate it, seriously. Knowing that I had such an outpour of support. I did have a lot of pieces of shit. Oh, fat motherfucker. I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, I honestly don't take your fucking criticism to heart. Otherwise, I would have fucking logged the fuck off of YouTube a long time ago. So, thanks for the support. I did appreciate you guys. So, like and all that other shit and thanks.